to the cross, watch it cut! I started DJing in 91, drum and bass didn't exist. Uh, what existed was something called breakbeat techno, they called it UK hardcore, or breakbeat I guess. It was kind of like what we consider to be breakbeat now, but it had a 4-4 kick in it. And what appealed to me about it just was, I, I was, I used to play drums, I was into percussion, so just the beats is what I liked. And as time went on and, and the music started evolving and spawning off into different genres, I kind of stayed with the stuff that was just the breakbeats, which eventually sped up to the point where they had to call it a different name, which was Jungle. Uh, dark Side was what they first started calling it because it was like really dark. Yeah. And, but it was, then became Jungle and Drum and Bass. So I've just always been into percussion and percussive music and you know that's what made me kind of like gravitate towards that sound. I definitely had some like thoughts that maybe it was dark times for drum and bass. But I gotta say, even tonight I spoke with the promoter, I cannot tell you the number of people, because I play some dubstep now, like I don't play that much dubstep myself, I play some. Everyone, everyone is so concerned about, it. they think, I get asked all the time, you know, how much, are you gonna play any, they still always say this, are you gonna play any drum and bass tonight? Like assuming that I'm gonna play a dubstep, which is absolutely the opposite of the case. And the promoter tonight was like, He's like, the most feedback I got about the show tonight was whether or not I was gonna be playing drum and bass. So based upon that kind of stuff and just talking to people, I feel that there's this huge influx of people that came into the scene through dubstep in the past couple years. But I think that maybe a lot of those people are like gonna start wanting to expand their horizons a little bit. And drum and bass, I think, you know, dubstep would be the gateway to that at this point for a lot of these people. So I'm kind of feeling the next year that drum and bass might start having a decent resurgence because people, the old people want to hear it, you know, the old people feel threat, the old drum bass kids feel super threatened by dubstep or they fucking hate dubstep. Yeah. And the new kids, you know, I think they're gonna, you know, it's time for, you know, time to go to the sophomore year of class and maybe they want to hear something, they want to hear something different. So, I mean, I like bass music. I'm pretty happy with like all the stuff that's out now. There's so much good music out. It's almost, it's like an embarrassment of riches of good music that's available now. Yeah. Like even hearing Steve Smash play earlier, he played some shit I didn't know and I was like, damn, there's so much good music out. So, I'm happy regardless. But if there is more attention put or, you know, focus on drum and bass, you know, obviously I, I get behind it 100%. I mean, the more attention that's on drum and bass, the happier I am. You want some fucking drum and bass? Come on!
confuse producing with performing. And it's, it is apples and oranges. Like, I feel like I'm a good DJ. I'm an okay producer, you know? I, I've done some stuff that I'm proud of, but the reality is I know what I do in the studio and what I do on stage performing. That's not the same thing. And at some point, people started confusing the two. It was like, well, if you can write a great tune, then you're obviously a great performer. And that's definitely not the case. And, and vice versa, I, you could be a great DJ and, and not be able to fucking write a great tune to save your life. I don't have a problem with Ableton specifically or controllers or any of that stuff. My, my issue is when people will, if you can use Ableton and a controller, it's like you should be able to mix better or layer a set better than I can do on three CD players. You know, if yeah. you're gonna use a computer to help you like that, you should be better than me. And a lot of people, they use the computer to do the heavy lifting for them. It's like a crutch. It's like they stand up there and they will like segue between like one tune to the next tune to the next tune. And it's like the most bare bones bullshit performing. And it's like, I know why they do it. It's because they don't have the experience. But I've always told DJs back in the day before all this stuff was available, it's like, you know, don't perform unless you can fucking perform. And it's like people, they want the shortcut. They want to be like instant celebrity famous. Like I get it. But for me, I'm just disappointed that I feel like the crowd and audience for electronic music in general should hold their performance to a higher standard because there's a big difference between someone that can actually fucking work music. Because it's like this, you can give a, a chef ingredients and then you can give a home cook ingredients and the chef can weave those ingredients together to make something truly better than the sum of its parts, whereas the home cook is just gonna make something you can eat. Right. And that is, there is a difference there and I feel that I just feel like the new generation of people performing, they want to use technology to basically just help them perform and they're not doing anything special with it. And I just feel like it's a fucking cop out. But that's just, I, I'm like, maybe I'm Mr. Old Bitter DJ, but I've heard great DJs and great performers. And, you know, I know that you can actually do something really special on stage. And it's like, if you're going to use Ableton, do something better than what a DJ is going to do. And if not, then learn how to fucking DJ, man up and learn how to do it. It's like, it's fun. Like, I love DJing. It's not, it shouldn't be something you should be afraid of. Like, DJing's fun. I love doing it. Yeah. So learn how to do it and appreciate it and respect it, you know? The laptop on stage has become so ubiquitous with every show you play at. And it's like, I want people to have the discussion of what is going on stage. Like, yeah. talk about it, think about it, not just kind of like, they should, I think people should expect more. And I feel like people are just been dumbed down and it's not even the bar is low, there is no bar anymore. And I think it's a shame.